Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. To say the SIU basketball team hit stride the past few games would be a huge understatement. First, a dominating win at home over St. Louis, then a victory over Power 5 opponent Oklahoma State at Banterra Center and SIU closing out the three-game homestand. Check it out, that uh, awesome jumbo screen up there. In this one, and getting the basket from Xavier Johnson, one of the nation's leading scorers against Austin P. Then Johnson turns in the passer there to Clarence Rupert. So they're looking good. Kennard Davis for three. Everything's going good, but watch out. Austin P. comes back with the block. Brian Mullen says that's not what we're looking for, but the governors weren't listening. They delivered some big baskets there. Salukis, it was a battle to the end. But SIU would fall short, 70 to 68 at home. Tough loss. Meanwhile, high school hoops, the Jackson Indians hosting the Dexter Bearcats out to the home of the Indians. A student section fired up, and Jackson would give them plenty of reason to, to cheer. A lot of tradition and skill for that Dexter team, too. Gibson Booker for a three, then Nathan Harris, nice shot. But then it turns into cold deck time. First of all, from the corner, he buries this three-pointer. Then, a little bit later, watch this. Deck goes up and scores. He's not done. Kid can play some defense as well. He goes coast to coast and lays that one in. Meanwhile, Chad Allen, the coach for Deck, says, what do we do with that guy? But Jackson's got some more good players as well. Judd Toma, he gets the kind of the double pump. It worked. Blaine Harris also scoring, and Jackson getting a win. 61 to 41 over Dexter. Popper Bluff playing West Plains. Popper Bluff's Brendan Durden. He says, hey, I am open. I can shoot and I can score. He knocks down the three pointer right there. And then it's Preston Moore. He hits a three himself. And then Darius Graham, remember this guy from football? A great athlete, watch him charge the basket. Nobody's gonna touch him. He scores there and Popper Bluff big over West Plains, 79 to 48. Also, East Prairie beats Oran 68 to 47. Noah Johnson leads the way with 21. East Prairie now five and one. Congrats out to the Cape Central girls swim team. They beat Ledoux H H Horton Watkins. Easy for me to say tonight. Dana Powell's team excited. Heartland uh, College honors handed out. SIU safety PJ Jules named first team All-American by the Associated Press. Also, the FCS Football Central also invited to the Hula Bowl. Also, for SEMO, wide receiver Ryan Flournoy will also play in the Hula Bowl. Led the conference in receiving yards and receptions. And how about running back Geno Hess, all-time leading scorer, over 6,000 yards, third-team All-American today. And finally, several cheerleading state championship performances. Let's take a look. Begin in the Class 2 large class. East Prairie takes first place and Chaffee would finish third in the, the respective class. Also, Neelyville claimed first place in the class one small class. Uh, Kelly finished in, uh, in the second in the class, or in the small division, I should say. And Jackson wins a class five state title in their class as well. Very impressive. The co-ed championship would go to Sykeston. We're gonna take a timeout. 